You know, Nikki was such a big part of the energy, the positivity surrounding that team. And, you know, I know Nikki wanted to play more. Shoot, I wanted to play more. But you, you, you know, get to a place where you really accept your role and it becomes really more about who you are as a human being. And, you know, Nikki was just that light. Nikki was the type of person, if you didn't know her, you would have to take her in doses because she was a product of Pat Summit. When you look at those blue steely eyes and the way that she pierces through her players or the officials or even the opponents on the floor, uh, Nikki had that. Nikki had a tremendous drive and hunger for standards that were attached to excellence. Our franchise was extremely blessed, you know, that, that Nikki was a part of this franchise in San Antonio and got to bring her incredible personality, her soul, her smile, just the way that she she lived her life. And she was such a person of faith. And I think that showed in every minute that she was on the court and every minute that she was off the court. And she will forever be an alum of this organization. She got a return on her investment. When you look at the deposits that she's made throughout her entire life, and those returns will always last through the legacy of those that she has touched and encountered. You know, I think Coach Summit always preached to continue to uplift and to come back and to remain a part of the program. And I know for me, she always was like a vet, always checking out on me and, you know, making sure that I'm good. And just like, I think her, her smile and her energy was electric. Nikki's impact on players like Asia Wilson, players at Tennessee, is that she's gonna love on you Kind of like Pat did, she's going to love on you, but she's going to demand the absolute best. If you want to take shortcuts, you should have went somewhere else. You can transfer, you can leave, but if you buy in and you follow her blueprint for success and that roadmap, you're going to succeed. She was someone that stood by me, that believed in me, uh, that was always ready to put a smile on my face no matter what. And there were times when Coach Day would kick me out of practice and, or just say I, don't, I didn't look good to be on the court. And the first person that would ask to bring me back on the court was Coach McCray. She was my number one fan always and uh, we formed a relationship that was just a, a great bond. Nikki going through that battle, still seeing her smile. She may not want to talk about it a lot and I think that was just the the player, the athlete in her, where it's like, hey, what's the task at hand? The task at hand is to win, to beat the battle. So if I focus on what happened yesterday, then I'm not progressing towards winning tomorrow. Like, not only did she fight, she did it with a smile, dignity, grace, and she showed people, like, Although things may be hard, we all have a battle somewhere in our lives. You don't know what that battle will be. We don't know when you'll face it. But how you face it will determine what that journey of yours looks like. To see, and not even to something she hid from us, to be able to still be active and still be there for us and to still sacrifice so much she had going on for us was something I've never seen in a person before. She just gave it her all. She gave it her all and it was just amazing for her to have that child, to have Thomas. Thomas was her pride and joy and to have him by her side was just incredible to watch because I know those odds were not in her favor every single day, but she still showed up for us. She was still a great mom, wife, everybody in between. And I remember Nikki called me and said, hey Dee, um, I was offered the job at Mississippi State. Like, if I take it, I'm, I'm gonna tell Old Dominion they need to get you. And I said, girl, please, I'm gonna go with you to Mississippi State. <laughs> I'll come work for you, Nikki. We could do this. And she was like, no, no, you're gonna be a great coach, D. And uh, I'm gonna put your name down. And now that I'm there, <sighs> and I get to continue her legacy, I'm a part of her tree. And I wanna make sure that I do justice by that because she was on to something great. So I take a tremendous amount of pride in everything I do every day and she is attached to every thought. To find the joy is something that I will always now remember with Coach McCray. In, in anything that we do, find the joy in that and live through that and shine bright through that and that is Coach McCray. She just left like just an impact on me and my life in ways that 
you know, really only a teammate like that can do. At the end of the day, people will remember me just of my impact and just, you know, hopefully I made them feel good and, and made them a better person and like they made me.